Hello Libra, how are you? Welcome to the channel. This is your love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get started with the reading and see what the overall energy between you and your love interest is. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. Both of you look like you're single and available. Very attractive, successful people who are coming together uh, with the idea and the motivation to create something abundant. Look at this passion, communication, excitement enthusiasm travel looks like you guys are really having a great time the seven of wands is how your person is viewing the situation they're a little bit guarded you know definitely guarded uh, they definitely want the relationship and I feel as though they're trying to watch what they say and what they do this person's in a bit of a bubble so they're holding back how do they view you Libra Oh, beautiful. They view you as someone with whom they would really love to make a very a nice love offer too. They see you as kind and loving and sweet, very Pisces energy. We have the energy of the seven and eight of wands is um, seven of wands is Leo energy, Sagittarius energy with that travel card. The nine of pentacles is that Virgo energy. So you have the ability, you have the enthusiasm, you have the excitement, you have the passion, you have this tender hearted feeling coming in. Your person would like to make an offer to you. We're getting the Three of Cups in their heart space, Libra. They feel as though you are their best friend, you're their buddy. You know, they, they love nothing more, I think, than to go to an outdoor cafe with you, especially with summer here. They feel very much as though that Three of Cups card, that you're their best friend. It's like falling in love with their best friend. We do see that this person that you are um, having the relationship with is in a healing phase. The Four of Swords indicates that they don't know what the future brings based on the fact that they are healing. It looks as though they could be on the rebound. For some of you, that will be the case. It looks as though they have, they could be physically needed to heal. Sometimes I see this card when people have had, you know, oh, you know, I was out playing tennis and my Achilles didn't work so well. So I do see this person in this very sort of energy that says, I can't take being hurt again. Okay, Libra? When we Now when we look at the mutual energy between the two of you, you are throwing caution to the winds, delightful Sagittarius energy, lots of excitement, lots of, you know, let's get on the motorcycle and ride around, let's go do something, let's go to the beach, let's travel. Spirit is suggesting that you take your time and stay balanced in the relationship. Temperance energy. So if you haven't seen your person for a while, it looks like there is a reconciliation in store, but it really speaks to the fact that you have a guardian angel that is protecting this connection, Libra. Ooh, the outcome. We now have uh, Sagittarius energy, the Knight of Wands. So we always must face the fact that we have two knights here. We don't have any kings here. So this relationship may or may not come together in a more solid manner. So we're going to go ahead and look and see. I just, I don't know why I kept shuffling. I was called to do it. So we're going to look and see how far the relationship can advance. Okay, Libra, that's kind of an overall energy for you. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify and see what is going on. Why do we have the Nine of Cups? Excuse me, the Nine of Coins. I love that energy. It really speaks to the fact that both of you are very solid financially, career-wise. You look good. You smell good. Everybody wants both of you, so it's a good match, right? Okay, so let's see what we have. Nine of Cups, eat, drink, be merry. It's also the card of wish fulfillment. It's a card of joyfulness. You may have met this person at a party or with good friends or through very good friends, but Nine of Cups is one of my favorite cards in the deck. It's Pisces energy, and it's it doesn't matter. It's like that don't worry, be happy, let's have fun, throw caution to the wind, and enjoy the moment, live in the moment. Why do we have the Eight of Wands? Ooh, interesting energy. The Eight of Wands energy is about passion and, you know, you better have the fire extinguisher close to the bed because it could ignite now. What's interesting here is that there is seems to be some sort of problem. 
somebody feels as though they're not getting what they need in terms of this communication, in terms of, you know, both of you are feeling as though you're disappointing each other, you both feel as though you haven't quite connected on maybe a physical level or more that communication level. Uh, you may live at a distance also and have to travel to be each other. You're missing each other. So it's a, it's a combination of energies, but it does show that the relationship doesn't have the free flow of energy. Both of you are worried. You're both, you know, you. but here's a beautiful part of this card is that there's a key right here. This is a card that's very much sort of a very spiritual energy because when you see this person with their head down, they're not looking, they're, they feel like they've been tossed out of the kingdom, right? They've been thrown onto the other side of the door, but it's not true. The key is right there leaning against the door. They just have to pick up their head. Since this is mutual energy, both of you, it's really really obvious probably to everyone else what the two of you need to do. I do not think it's obvious to the two of you though. Look at this energy. The clarifier for the seven of wands is the seven of wands and <laughs> I can't make this up. The nine of pentacles. So what I am seeing is that this real you're not ready for coming together in union yet. Both of you are feeling this way because we have it. You're mirroring each other. We have it in two places. We have this defensiveness in two places. So both of you are limiting this relationship by perhaps a lack of belief or a lack of, you know, you haven't been together that long is what it looks like to me. It doesn't look like you've made any commitments. There's no plans to make commitment. And it does look like it kind of is bothering both of you, and yet you feel worried about doing it. So, interesting energy, Libra. Interesting energy. Yep, here we have, oh my gosh. Okay, so we have, I can't make this up. We have the King of Cups clarifying the King of Cups, I mean, excuse me, the Knight of Cups clarifying the Knight of Cups. You both feel really romantic. You're both very, you like, you adore being together. You adore breaking bread and having a meal and chatting. And the romanticism of this relationship is very intense. You've had some beautiful experiences. The Wheel of Fortune is saying that this is a good time. I mean, this relationship has a lot of potential, but you both have to be willing to give into it, you know, to let your guard down. When we look at the energy that your person is trying to heal, we get the Moon card. So I really feel, Libra, that this is your person more than you. I feel very much that you can't really speed up the process. There's not much you can do. And I feel as though you have an awareness of it. It looks like you're going with the flow. You know, you're like, you know what? Hey, you know, being with this person is really, really beautiful. I'd rather be with them than to not be with them. I'm not too worried about the future is what I'm seeing here for you. You have a really solid understanding and knowledge of this healing period that they're going through. It looks as though they left something behind. And on their journey, you aren't really feeling Libra necessarily like you're the culmination of the journey. You don't know whether they're leaving. You don't know whether they're going to stay. You know that they are on a metaphorical um sort of almost like a, a journey of soul searching, a journey that they have to go on alone. You can't really help them with this. And it may take this person away from you, but it does look like, you know, we're going to look at your energy. We're going to clarify a couple of things for you specifically. But right now, as a, as a situation, this is... Um, your person is not even looking. They have, you know, they're asleep, they're underwater. The Ten of Wands, they have a heavy heart. They're still living very much in the past and they're not seeing their way to uh, the connection with you growing. Uh, other than, the, oh, look at this, the Lover's Card. They have to make a choice. Your person has to make a choice. And they know and they're not ready to do it. So that is Gemini energy. We have all the energy on the board here. So 
Gemini energy, you know, Gemini is a lover's card. It can be a soulmate card. They do feel as though they met you for a reason. But the hanged man is saying that they're stuck there. But I like the hanged man. Very spiritual card. Very, very much the antidote to this sort of negative energy here. You know, very much. I, I love the hermit energy. You know, the hermit is seeking answers. This card has a very Cirque du Soleil I'm, I really, the way they feel about you, Libra, is that they really see your value. They see you as incredibly lovely. They see you as highly desirable. They see you as a beautiful friend, a beautiful lover, you know, and it, it's, they're really seeking enlightenment. Okay, so we also have the fact that they see Libra as the Aries Queen, which is interesting because they see you as very fiery, very passionate, very beautiful. Why do we have the queen, uh, the, um, <laughs> I'm having a hard time saying my cards, page of wands. <laughs> All right, so why is a page of wands here in your mutual energy? And I just threw back a stack of cards. So we see that the page of wands, what's hidden here is that both of you are wondering about the duration of this relationship. You wonder if you can go the distance. That's what's hidden. We also see that both of you have gone through a period of sadness and you don't want to continue that energy. We see that um, this relationship has taken a bit of time to get off the ground, even though this is upright. Again, a lot of mirroring. The Page of Wands here is that you are now throwing caution to the winds. We see the Ace of Wands, which is the truth. You're, you're very honest with each other. I don't see anything here that's nefarious. Any Anything that would be hidden would be something that would be more unknown for you. The Six of Wands, you really want to have a good outcome for both of you. You want to feel as though this relationship was very rewarding. I do like the energy of the Seven of Swords reverse. There's nothing being hidden. Well, there's you're not really talking in great detail about a future. You're both worried about it. You're both wondering about it. You Both of you want to make sure that the other person doesn't think that there's dishonesty, and I don't see any dishonesty. I, I really see both of you trying to manifest happiness for each of you. Um, I do think that there are some ego battles. There's a little bit of ego energy here. You may be very, um, when you talk about what you envision for the future, it may be very feisty about what you expect in love, okay? What you're trying to manifest. Are we on the same path is what that means to me. Are we going in the same direction? Can this work out? And again, it's hidden energy. It's unspoken energy for you, Libra. All right. So let's see. Spirit is saying, try to work this out, that there's something highly valuable. Spirit is saying, temperance, you're being protected by an archangel, or the archangels are surrounding you with temperance energy. Sagittarius, think the, in terms of big picture instead of worrying too much about the details now. The judgment card says that when the time comes, you'll make the right decision. That, you know, if it's time to let go of each other, you'll let go of each other. If it's, if it's, if something is decided that it wouldn't work out, you would let go. But that tells me that you will make the judgment most likely, if you follow Spirit's advice, that you will choose to spend a period of time with each other to see what the potentials of the relationship are. Why do we have the Knight of Wands here? Why do we have the Knight of Wands here? All right. Knight of Wands, ah, it looks as though one of you, somebody who has Leo energy or a lot of fire in your chart, looks as though you simply may not think it's possible. It may simply be deemed that this relationship is not where it needs to be at this time. The Eight of Cups means that both of you want something more fulfilling, very definitely. Let's take a look and see what, what we have here for uh, messages of love, okay? Because there's a lot of passion. It does seem, Libra, like you're more at peace with this than your person. So let's see. What are the messages for you, Libra? Let's look and see what you should be doing here to keep yourself in good shape. Let's see. We have put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. All right. 
Let's see what else we have here for advice from spirit. Self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself, okay? So these are more decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. Libra, okay. So that makes sense because your person seems to be so caught up in the past that they can't really be present for you, you know, not that they wouldn't like to be because I feel very much that they want to be. I feel as though they can't sort of help what, what the situation was before you came in to the picture. Let's see what they have. What is spirit advising your person to do? What is spirit advising your person to do in your connection? Forgiveness, forgiving yourself. So to me, this is forgiveness about a past relationship that you have to let it go. You have to start forgiving a situation, healing. See the Four of Swords, healing. Okay, so your person is being advised to heal. And then comes the awakening. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is you might simply take some time out and really take care of yourself. Self-care is going to be very important here. You may take a period of time in which you leave and come back. You may not come back, but we do have an energy of leaving and coming back with temperance. Spirit will call you to do that in the relationship. Let's see what sacred destiny has here for you in this reading. Let's see between you and your person. Your person, you know, you, I mean, if somebody's wounded, I always like to say that you can't ask somebody with a broken leg to run a marathon, right? You really can't. I mean, you can ask it. You can be upset if they don't. I guess you could choose that. But you're being very wise, Libra. I'm really getting you the new beginning. So, you know, you know that you're going to have a new beginning, whether it's with this person or someone else. So you feel very confident. Would you like for it to be with this person? I think for most of you, you're here in the reading. I feel as though you do. But you're also keeping it simple. You're really keeping this simple. You're keeping it, you know, you're not trying to anticipate or force something that, you know, can't be. If you let this person go, Libra, and it seems that for some of you, you will. For some of you, you won't. But it does look like at least you're going to take a time out. And you know what? You're okay. You know that this person has not had any sort of bad intent or anything of the kind. You've had a delightful time together. Let's look and see what the... Um, I'm going to look at the, the El Goliath deck says about your person and where they're at. What is the best that your person could possibly give Libra? in this relationship. What is it that they have available to them? And I'm going to look at this. This would be by August to me, number eight. Let's see what this person can do or what they will do in the next several months. Okay, three of swords are still heartbroken. Oh my gosh, these are like mangled here. Look at that. They were sticking in this deck. I don't know how that happened. So it shows that your person looks as though the next eight weeks there's not a lot of difference, okay? So let's look and see what they're capable of in terms of the relationship. The sage, oh good, they are doing the work. They have, they're going in for this sort of internal cleansing. And we see the nine of cups, oh Libra, your person really sees you as their wish fulfillment and the ace of cups they are falling in love so they understand intrinsically that there may have to be some sort of break i don't see this as necessarily final you the two of you will make the decision together honorably with heart but at the end of the day i don't think your person wants to lose you libra so all right sending you love send some back tell me where you're from bye-bye libra